Hey guys, welcome to another short video going through some of the features of UPDF. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to print your PDF using UPDF on Windows. Now, once you've opened your sample PDF here, if you want to print it, you go all the way to the top left corner, it says the name file. You click on file and you go to the option all the way at the bottom that says print. You could use your shortcut keys and click Ctrl P if you want, which is easier. Here you have many different options. First of all, you can choose to print the document or the comments or the document and the comments included. Then you can choose the paper size to whichever one you want. Maybe you want an A5 size paper, A4, legal, whatever it is. You could choose the orientation, whether you want landscape or portrait. In this case, I want portrait. You could do auto rotate, which means it does it properly. So if it's landscape or make it, if it, if it should be portrait, it will turn it into portrait. Auto center, which means that it'll keep the document right in the center in this case. And then here you could choose your printer. You could print it as an image or print it in grayscale, which means black and white. You just tick the option if you want that. And then you could print specific number of pages. You could print the current page, a custom range or all pages. Custom range means you could click from one to maybe seven. And then you could reverse the pages as well if you wish. So it'll be backwards from the bottom to the top. You could print only odd pages or only even pages. In this case, I'm gonna put all pages. Now for page sizing and handling, for the size, you could choose fit or you could do the actual size, even if it goes beyond the border. For example, actual size, it goes a bit bigger. Or you could do a custom scale. Maybe you want it a bit smaller because you want several pages on one single page. So you could do 50%, for example. If you put 50 here, it's 50% now, but I'll keep it at fit. And you could do print on both sides of the paper to save paper in your printer. And then uh, here you have an option to flip on long edge, but that's, you know, only if it's available, you could change that. Otherwise, you just click print and that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.